how to create and add a watermark on Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're looking to add a watermark on any of your photos using Canva, you can do it in two different ways. The first off method that is simple and just involves creating your logo, you can click on text on the left, choose title text, then type in your business name. Let's say mine is just Manizha. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to choose the font that I like from the left and I'm just going to search for a nice font like this. Once I have my font, I'm going to resize this. So I'm just going to place it over here and then resize my text to whatever size I want my watermark to be. Usually your watermark is going to be very large so it covers the entire image. Once you place it, you might say, hey, this is not a watermark. Well, don't worry. Once you have placed your text, you're going to click on the top right where it says transparency and bring down your transparency to a good somewhere between 20 to 30 percent, depending on how strong the watermark needs to be. Once you've done that, press command C and command V, and then you can place this all over your image to ensure that no one can duplicate your images without your consent. Once you've done that, just click on share and you can download the watermarked version of your image. Now, the other method you can use to watermark images is including your logo. So you can go into uploads over here and then click on upload file. Once you click on upload file, you will have to upload your logo. So you need to ensure that whatever logo you are using does not actually have a background if you want to use it as your logo. So for example, I have, I do have a logo. Yeah, I do have a logo, but it has a background. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove it as well. This is my logo over here and I'm just uploading the logo image. This is the logo image I have, but it has a background. So I can just click on this, click on background remove, and then Canva can help me in removing the background. And once my background has been removed, I'm going to again crop the sides and then just resize my logo. Once I've done that, so I'm just going to resize it to the point where it fills out my screen entirely like this. And I only need one logo for this. And then I'm going to go into transparency, turn down the transparency like this. And just like that, we have our logo added to our photo in the form of a watermark. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.